Okay, this is where the uh, Waimea Canyon Road from Waimea meets up with the um, Keikaha Road from Keikaha. If you make a left, you're going to go down to Keikaha. And then going this way will take you up to the top of the road or to the to the end of the road, the museum, the restaurant, and the uh, gift shop. And there's also a nice camping area up here. And the name is pronounced Kokei, or Koke, uh, most of us say. As you can see, the road's new. Uh, it's actually wider than it was the last time I was up here. And uh, the potholes have miraculously been removed, which is really nice. So, it's quite a nice drive. It takes anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, depending on traffic and tour vans like the one in front of me, or tour buses. Uh, it's a quite pleasant ride, as you can see. If you look right through the trees, you'll see the uh, waterfall in the background. We're going to do a little bit of walking uh, right down the road here and uh, get that waterfall again. back in there so we'll be right back and we're going to be camping up in that canyon to the left there some of the uh, cabins on the left there. Some of these cabins are uh, leased with 100 year leases and some of these cabins uh, belong to the park. Uh, there's also a uh, Boy Scout and a Girl Scout campground up here too. They're behind us. Up here on the left you're going to see the uh, museum and restaurant. This big open green field in front of us is uh, a campground and a picnic area. You do have to make reservations to stay here. Uh, the nice thing is you can go online and do that. And I'm supposed to meet a couple of fellas. I see one right there in the red pickup. So uh, we're gonna turn this video off. And once we get off road, uh, we'll start again. So we'll talk to you guys in a little bit.
I think this is where I almost turned around in the Dodge and didn't go any further. But, um... Went ahead anyway. Uh, I am riding the brake right now. I got it in first gear, but it'll run away. So, what I should have done was um, put it in four wheel load just to see how it creeped down this incline. Uh, this incline, according to the inclinometer, is um, about seven degrees. I'm doing between seven and eight degrees. So let's, uh, we're going to do that. We're going to put it in neutral. And then we're going to switch it over to full wheel low. And we'll put it in two. There we go. No more brake riding. That's first gear right there. The speedometer is not even registering. RPMs aren't going up. That was nine degrees down right there. That's second. We'll go back down to first right here. And we'll just let it creep. I'm kind of anxious to try this out. Um, on the way back up and see if it'll just idle or creep up on its own. my incline this is seven this is seven degrees not bad again we're in first we're just creeping I'm gonna go ahead and shift it up a second Bridge has seen its better days. And actually, we're almost down. Uh, to the campsite where we stayed with uh, Civil Air Patrol cadets. I think I hiked up here, I don't remember. Royce is pulling over to the side for some reason to avoid something.
good sized rock on the right right there we'll dodge that to the left good grip on the steering wheel yeah skip there skip there Now this is where your shorter base vehicles, because this, this truck is really long. Um, this is where your short wheelbases really have an advantage. Rice's truck bouncing up there and he's found some rocks so we're just gonna we're gonna scoot to the left because there's a drop off here real easy there we go and she's sliding a little bit but not bad that's 13 degrees that ain't bad at all the engine holds this truck back nice Okay, up to second gear now. Just let it run down the hill here. We'll go back down to first around this curve, just in case. Yeah, there's some rocks here. So we'll go to the right and out. No, I'm gonna go to the left. I think I hear the river down below us. Yeah, I think right was a good choice. Or left, rather, sorry. Now we're going to go right and out. Here we go, back up the second gear. Now this is a steel bridge. I forgot about this. This thing's quite old. There's a nice view. Look at that. How the clouds are meeting the valley over there. Yeah, that's a nice picture right there. This is the uh, campground we stayed at with the uh, Civil Air Patrol. This is the, all these small bushes out here with the flowers on them are um, plum trees. And hopefully Sunny and I can come up here and get her some green plums this year. I wanted to let me get down here and see if I can catch Royce going through the river. Okay, there goes Royce through the river. Now this this river does have um, 
a solid bottom on it so all right our turn now I'm gonna turn the camera right quick to the left there's the river right there so we'll come back and get some good pictures of that in a little while Yeah, we're two-wheel drive. I just want to see how it handles this. Oh yeah. It's not slipping yet. We're doing good. Okay, back around. There goes Royce again. We're almost to the campsite. Uh, I used to think that was called Sugi Grove, but I was wrong. Uh, the Sugi Grove campsite is a little bit further up the road, and then we're in the one afterward. So this is Sugi Grove here. And then we're in the next campsite. Now there's a nice trail that ends right here too. Um, as you can see on the left there. Co uh, Koi Koi Stream, that's it. So, uh, anyway, sorry about the jerky camera there. Just wanted to get that sign on there so I can refer to it later. And uh, we're just a little ways up, not even a quarter of a mile. I don't think, anyway. I'm just going by what the map says. But we're in uh, Kauai Koi uh, campsite. Here. So that's uh, that's too bad. I do have maps, so I'm not concerned about that uh, if we do any hiking. But um, we'll worry about that in a little bit. It looks like our campsite's right there to the right. So let's go check that out. We'll get out and stretch our legs and just kind of go from there. There goes a little girl with a chasing her dog. <laughs> How you doing today? And the two dogs meet. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to shut this video off and we'll be back. Okay, I'm going to take a quick walk. We came in from uh, that end right there. We're going to go to the right. This is the uh, camping spot right here. It goes back up in there. We'll videotape a little bit of that when I come back. It is sprinkling, so... Anyway, we're just going to go down to the stream, which is muddy. So, I probably will not use my filter today. Let's catch a whiff of the flowers on the way back. See the white flowers there? All kinds. We'll get a good close-up and post that as well. Anyway, it's a pretty place. It's quiet. There's some ginger over there, but it's a little off-season so far. Lichen over here. So, anyway, we head down here just a little bit to the stream. Videotape a little bit of the stream. There's another road, but there's no sign. So I don't know if that's a campsite or not. But uh, it is kind of open, so I'm not sure. Could be a trail. I'll look at the map. Here's the stream. This one actually flows onto the road, and uh, you'll see, or probably saw, that uh, the other stream that we actually had to drive through, which this one looks like you drive through it at times too, um, 
We actually drove through the one previous to this one, though. So, and a friend of ours that we work with said that um, a week or so ago, um, it almost, not this one, but the previous one, almost pushed his uh, Jeep downstream. So, anyway, I'm going to stop here. I just wanted to walk down to the stream right quick. And uh, I'll get a picture of them flowers and post them as well. I was walking uh, just down from the campsite, and this is one of those aqueducts that was made by the Chinese laborers um, that goes through the tunnels. They actually bored right into the mountains themselves and made tunnels. And we saw this up on Loop Road as well. Pretty neat. A lot of work went into that. Well, there's Royce and his truck right there and PJ up front the supervisor and navigator and there's my dirty little old truck which really don't look all that bad all right photos <laughs> 